I've been around, uh, you know, I stopped counting a long time, but about 46, 47 years, something like that. Of the 53? Yes. Okay. So you could be considered a foundation. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So look back for me at, at your own journey in the band and your own experience and what it has done for you, for your life over these years. Wow. That's heavy. It has taken me to a, a lot of places that I've never been before. You know, as a, as a student from Excelsior, I'm an Excelsiorian, mm -hmm. I like geography and I was very interested in that in school. And a lot of what I've learned from my school was translated back in my travels around the globe mm -hmm. within a circle. It has taken me to places that you, you read about in, in books. You know, you never thought you'd actually get to be in these places. And that in itself, the place is one thing, but meeting the people or the indigenous people of that area, mm -hmm. that is something that I really appreciate. During the time I was with Inner Circle, I also took off and did a little bit in the 70s. I did a whole tour playing stadiums with the Rolling Stones and Peter Tosh. So, so that in itself was, it was good to, was good uh, foundation yes. to build onto this, to what we have done as Inner Circle after that, because, you know, with uh, Sweat, you know, a lot of people talk about Bad Boys being the song that propelled us. And yes, it did, it helped us and everything, but Sweat is really the global number one record. You know, that's a record that no matter where in the world you go, everybody's going, ah, la, 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 long, ah, la, you know, and it has really taken us to places that, you know, I remember not so long ago before the pandemic, we were in Macedonia or someplace like that. It's one of those relatively new country. And... All I could see was goats and <laughs> what have you. I was surprised that we actually got a crowd. And this is up in a hilltop somewhere. I don't remember the name of the city. Right. You know what I mean? But just stuff like that to see people come out to listen to Jamaican music and Inner Circle's brand of the oh, Jamaican, oh, really? yeah. If you were to recall a moment that is sticking out in your mind in, in any place that you've visited, any concert, any moment in your musical life. One of them that really stuck out is uh, Brazil. We were in Brazil and, oh God, a couple of times this happened. We're in Brazil and it started raining. We're in, uh, in Rio. It's like somebody took a bucket and just poured it down. I mean, 70,000 people, 80,000 people, nobody moved. Everybody stood in the rain. Even when they told us to come off stage and we backed up because of the lightning and everything, the people just stood there and didn't move. That was fascinating to me that people have that dedication that they want to hear what you have, that they actually stayed to listen. Mm -hmm. You know, think about it. Nobody has to really, you know, you're giving you're giving a vibe, you know, and if people stay there because they want to hear what you have to say, you know, and I, I really appreciate that. And looking back at the music itself, is there anything you could, you could look at and say you would like to fix or would like to see different? Not really, not really. But in a circle, we are multifaceted in what we do and in the areas that we cover. If you listen to some albums, I remember there was a time when the record that we make depended on where we were going. Like for one time we were going to South America a lot and all that Latin percussion ended up in our music. <laughs> you know, it's kind, of, it's kind of weird, you know, you I mean, you go and you listen to all this stuff, you're hearing the samba, you're hearing that, and it all ended up in the music. Ah. Yeah. So there's a little bit of flavor from here, a little bit of flavor That's from there. You know, things like that. So these are the things that, that... There's no monotony. Right. When you get on that instrument, anything can... can anything can, can happen. Anything can happen. 
you know, and our influences are, are, are such, you know, my influence, you know, as people who know me from Jamaica back in the day, you say, what, what is this kid walking around with this big radio listening to this strange music? Because my influence at the time, surprisingly, were rock, classic, what people now call classic rock. Yeah. That was my influence. And that was what I also brought with me to Inner Circle. Mm. That kind of... Uh, Always a close, <laughs> and, and hence that close relationship between rock and reggae. The, the, the rockers tend to be into reggae, and, and their fans too. Well... They tend, to, uh, tend to listen to reggae. That was my influence, and that's what I, I brought to the thing. And if you listen, if you listen to Inner Circle songs again, uh, going back with when Jacob was there, a song like Disciplined Child. Mm. Oh, yes. That's a, basically a rock ballad. I call it a reggae ballad. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> but that's the idea. Songs like I'm a reggae rocker. Do you love me? Yeah. You know, so there's all of that again, you know, so, you know. Mm.